is just a quick video because what I've been doing here, I've got um, this curler, which is an Arctic 280 ARGB liquid freezer 2. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, liquid freezer 2, 280 ARGB. Okay, uh, which is apparently a good curler. I'm sure it is. The Arctic products are good. And I'm trying to install it on this motherboard which is an ASUS Z790 um, Apex board for the DDR5 memory and the 13900K processor is there. The problem I've run into is that this cooler doesn't fit with the heat sinks. Okay, I can't really put it in with one hand but Trust me, it won't fit. Um, it, you can put the, the two back ones in or the two front ones, top or bottom, or whatever you want to call that. Um, and uh, the, whichever two you get in, the other two won't fit um, because it's uh, up against the heat sink. So all I can think of to do is to say, for example, chop a bit off there with a the hacksaw. Same over there, cut a bit off there. I could do just one side or perhaps both sides. Um, see if it fits. So I'm gonna try that then. Okay, well, I've done some radical surgery on the um, this little mountain straps on the uh, cooler and I've uh, reinstalled the back plate made sure every screw was as far up in the corner as it would go and I've got it in place now it does fit I've taken off one of the heat sinks that seem to be getting in the way of that um, shouldn't really have to do this um, but anyway let's see how this turns out but at least it's in place now okay here we go as you can see it's uh, turned on it's uh, again I've replaced the case fans so um, the whole system is pretty much silent, but the Arctic cooler is working well. I'll put up some screenshots or maybe a little video of a uh, test bench results in uh, Time Spy Extreme 4K, where it scored 19,018, which seems seems like a reasonably good score. So. It's working well <clears throat> and uh, maybe some other tests as well I have just some very other comments when I'm here um, I wouldn't recommend anybody else try and uh, install uh, this Arctic cooler the way I did eventually what I did in the end was I am um, I took everything apart again and put it all back together, made sure every little uh, screw and washer and everything was in as perfect a position as it could be. And uh, so it did work in the end, but there's probably easier ways to cool your PC. But I'm very happy with what I've actually got now. Um, so that's that. Put the 1490 Zotac. Ampero Extreme in there. That was very difficult to get in. It just would not go in the PCIe slot. I put a couple of NVMe drives in there as well. Uh, again, only one of them would fit. The other one wouldn't fit. I don't. I don't quite know what all this business is about things fitting and not fitting. Anyway, it's something to bear in mind if you're thinking of buying this board. But as you can see, um, hopefully it, well, it works pretty well. And again, it's pretty much silent. 
Of course, this is an idle. Once you uh, ramp it up for a test or something, it'll do a bit more. But yeah, anyway, pretty happy with it so far. Um, I haven't done any extreme overclocking or anything like that with it. So we'll see how that uh, works out later. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, this is just one last little thing that I think is worth um, noting. Uh, when I first uh, put that uh, Zotac 4090 uh, on this motherboard, the ASUS 790 Apex, it wouldn't work. There was no signal out of it. I'm pretty sure it was installed correctly, but nothing on the screen, no output whatsoever. So I swapped it out and put a 2080 Ti in that I had in the house and um, it worked perfectly. So then I did a bit of a search around and it uh, suggested that I needed to update the um, motherboard BIOS. So I downloaded that and uh, flashed the BIOS in the motherboard and put the 4090 back in the mother into the case into the motherboard again and um it worked so i don't know that it was just the bios or maybe it wasn't seated correctly or anything because it is a struggle to get that card into the uh, pcie slot or get it out and, out and in again so that's just another possible tip if you do buy this board it's probably best to update the um uh uh, BIOS on it. Also, there's no um, video out on the back of this board um, So you can't just plug your screen into the uh, motherboard directly So you will need maybe some lower older Graphics card because the problem as described on the uh, Asus website was between this motherboard and 40 series graphics cards. I thought that was worth mentioning Okay, well, uh, just one more thing. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Okay, bye-bye.